What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's video I'm going to be talking about brickwork in Revit. And what I mean by that is I'm going to be talking about everything you need to know about bricks in Revit. So we're going to be starting off this tutorial by me explaining to you how to create a new material and that's going to be a new brick material which we're going to be applying to our, well, brick wall. After that we're going to be creating some additional uh, brick elements. So you know those walls where they have maybe some uh, a couple of layers that have uh, bricks in a different order. It it adds uh, a little bit uh, a little bit of an interesting detail to the to the building. It can uh, break the pattern. It just looks uh, it just looks interesting. So I'm going to be showing you how to replicate something like that in Revit. And that and then finally uh, in the uh, last part we're going to be talking about uh, brick detailing. So you know when you cut your wall either in a floor plan or in a section uh, well uh, you don't want to have just a regular flat wall like it was made out of concrete or anything like that you want to have individual bricks there so I'm going to be showing you the tools uh, which Revit has uh, on offer uh, for you to uh, well to model those bricks just like that. So that's what we're going to be talking in today's tutorial. Now before I get into that, just quickly, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And also make sure to subscribe. I make useful Revit tutorials each week. I make multiple tutorials each week. And I also release one one-hour course on my Patreon. Uh, that's first a link in the description and there you can get access to all of my advanced Revit courses. I've got over 45 hours of content and there I just take a bit of extra time to go in depth into all of the uh, advanced and complicated Revit topics. So if you're interested in something like that, check it out. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. Now we're going to be creating a new brick material in Revit. Now what I suggest uh, you do when you try to create a new whatever in Revit is to take a look at how Revit approaches that and some of the default elements that come with the program and then try to recreate that. So in this case we're trying to create a new brick material. So what I'm going to do is go here to the architecture tab, go to the wall command, you can use the WA shortcut and then here I'm just going to choose one of the default materials, uh, one of the default walls that has a brick material. In this case let's go with the exterior brick on metal stud wall. So I'm just going to do one simple wall segment here and then hit the escape key a couple of times. Now if I just orbit around you'll notice that this side is gray and then if we zoom in you'll see that we here we have a brick pattern. Uh, now of course if we switch this to realistic uh, we will see an actual brick pattern uh, going on over here. Okay so let's see how Revit approaches this and how Revit creates these types of walls. So let's select that wall, go here into the edit type menu, let's maybe make this a bit smaller. There we go. Uh, let's now go into structure, click edit, and here the first material, the first finished material is the brick, a uh, common brick, and then the thickness is 90 centimeters. And I'm just going to click here in the material field and then click on this little uh, button with three dots, which will open up the material browser. Now, once we're here in the material browser, uh, just because we uh, opened the material browser out of this material here, uh, that common brick is going to be selected. So now here you can see all of the information. First on the identity, here we have just some basic identity that's not really that important, but uh, here uh, on the other side we have all of the important stuff. So uh, here we have the color, now this is the color uh, in the shaded view, so it's going to use this color. Uh, next here we have the transparency, it's set to zero. Uh, the next important part is the uh, surface pattern. Now here we have a foreground uh, pattern and it's this a brick pattern of course, it's the brick 80 by 240 uh, CSR. And then if we just click over there, as you can see, here you have multiple brick patterns. So you have the uh, brick US standard, the 75 by 225 brick, uh, this one, uh, the brick soldier course, and that's it for bricks. Then we have some blocks and so on and so forth. So these are all of the uh, brick patterns. Now keep in mind that this is a model pattern and not a drafting pattern. So it is available in the 3D view and it orients around depending on the view orientation. So I'm just going to click OK there. Also here we have a cut pattern. I don't like this, but uh, when we create our own wall, we're not going to include that. 
Also here, let's switch to the appearance tab. As you can see, we have the masonry uh, material. And then here we have the image. Also here it says masonry. And then uh, here for the image, we have this brick image. And the dimensions are uh, a bit over one meter. So that's that's what we have there. Also here we have the finish, which is unfinished. Of course, you don't want matte or glossy. And then also uh, under the settings, we also have this relief pattern. And then we have the same image just in black and white. So this is something that you should keep in mind. And also the amount of relief pattern uh, so is 0.15. So this is what gives that depth to your bricks. So this is what's going to uh, let Revit render the bricks in such a way where you can see kind of the, 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 the little uh, ridges between the bricks. So let's cancel out of this material and then let's create our own. Now the only thing external or out of Revit that we need to find is an image for our new brick wall. So I already have that image and what I'm going to do is open up Photoshop first and then uh, inside of Photoshop I'm just going to uh, open up the brick image that I found online. Now this will be available on my Patreon of course so if you want it you can find it there. So this is just uh, some standard brick uh, and now one thing that I like to do before importing is to make sure that the edges of the photo are aligned with the uh, brick lines. So here on top as you can see it's kind of it's cutting off the top of the brick, but it wouldn't be such a problem. But when we look at the bottom, uh, it's kind of cutting the brick in half. And when, once we place this on a material, it's going to kind of tile these images on top of each other. And then this side is going to be touching this side. And that I think it's going to look uh, terrible. So uh, I think the best option would be to crop this a little bit. So you go here to crop and then on top, let's just see let's crop it like that so you want to crop it uh, until you get to those kind of the, the the space between the bricks on top zoom out let's zoom in here on the bottom and do the same thing so just go like that there we go and then on this side I'm going to crop this in there and then the same thing on the, this side crop it in like that and then also make sure that this looks right. So for example, here, as you can see, this brick is missing a part and then here is that part. So when it tiles next to each other, it's going to look fine. Okay, so once we have this uh, image uh, fixed up uh, a little bit with the cropping, let's just finish that. We're going to save this image. So I'm just going to go to file, save as, and then let's save it on my desktop. And I'm going to call it brick pattern. And I'm just going to save it as a JPEG. Uh, let's click OK. There we go. Now, one more thing that we need is that relief pattern image. And for that, we, we need to have a black and white image uh, like this. So I'm just going to apply a, a adjustment, a black and white adjustment. So let's go maybe here to uh, Vibrance, turn it down, and also maybe add a little bit of a contrast just to make it a bit more aggressive. There we go. Maybe a bit brighter. Okay, that looks fine. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and save this. So just go here to save as, and then also as a JPEG. So it's again going to be a brick pattern, but let's call it black and white. Okay, hit save. Click OK again and let's escape out of this. I'm not going to save any changes. And now we're back into Revit and we can finally create our new brick wall. So for the brick wall, let's uh, select this wall. I'm going to change it to a generic 200 millimeter wall. And then I can select that wall and go into Edit Type and then Duplicate. Now I'm going to call this one Brick uh, Wall and let's call it a 25 centimeter brick wall. And then let's go into structure and change the thickness to 250. And then let's apply our new material. Now, of course, we don't have a material, so we have to create it now. Now to create a masonry or a brick material, you want to start off with an existing brick material. Uh, the reason for that is, uh, let me just go ahead here and search for brick. There we go. So here, if I go to appearance, it's going to have some fields over here, uh, but only a few. Now, if I were to type in glass, 
let's see now if we go to glass it's uh, a bit different if we go to air as you can see it has uh, a bunch of these different options so you want to select an existing material that has uh, the options that you want so let's just go back to brick and let's go with the brick common a right click uh, go to duplicate and then let's call this one new brick pattern hit OK. Now one thing that you want to do uh, is because you're going to be changing the image and changing graphics uh, go ahead and click the duplicate this asset what this is going to do it's uh, going to disassociate this material from this material as far as the asset uh, is concerned now asset is basically all of these materials over here so it's just going to disassociate that uh, loaded material and now we can make changes without messing up the original one so this is a very important step I cannot stress that uh, uh, enough okay so once we have this, uh, the next step is going to be loading a new image. So I'm just going to click here and then uh, let's see, here's the source. Maybe expand this a little bit. Here's the source and now we can find a new material. Now here you already have some materials and these are the ones that come with Revit. I'm just going to navigate to desktop and use the brick pattern, open that up and this is what we have. Now, as you can see, it looks a bit uh, compressed so what I'm going to do is change some of the options here maybe expand the menu here so the sample size let's change the width uh, and make sure to unlock the proportions so let's change the width and add maybe 200 here okay this looks a little bit better maybe let's try giving it an extra 100 okay this looks better okay so here I, I'm fine with the proportions I like this so I'm going to go with this and also here you can set up the brightness make it brighter darker let's just go with 90 there we go I think this looks fine okay so uh, also the the repeat should be set to tile for horizontal and vertical that means that it's going to apply the material and then uh, as, as, as a tile so uh, also here uh, for the relief pattern we have to change that image as well and this is where you change that so let's go to desktop let's do the black and white and then here if we go into edit image I'm going to just change this a number ag again so just first unconnect this and then here let's add uh, 1300 here there we go so it's going to be the same number now here for brightness okay done and then here you can change the amount a little bit if you want and here in the preview you can see what that would look like and now you will notice that if I go ahead and change this amount even harder it's going to make those ridges a bit deeper but it's going to make it a bit harder for Revit to render so you can keep it at maybe something lower like this so this is our new brick pattern now also another thing that you can do is go and go here to graphics and then for your brick pattern you can see does it match your uh, bricks so you have this uh, a texture alignment and then it opens up uh, and I don't know how much can you see it uh, but it basically opens up your brick pattern and then the uh, the, the this brick pattern and then also the brick image and then you can just move that pattern around to place it in the position also this might be useful if you want to change maybe the pattern to something smaller like this now we can see okay and then you can just oops and then you can just play around with these patterns and see what would fit your uh, bricks perfectly so Maybe this one is closest, even though it's not exactly right, uh, but it's not really that important. It's, you're never going to view the uh, pattern and the uh, rendered appearance in the same time. Okay, so once we have this done, let's just hit apply. Okay, okay again, okay again, and this is our pattern. Now if we zoom in, as you can see, we have those bricks. And to see what the, this would look like uh, when rendered, you can just change this to ray trace. Uh, let's cancel out of this for now and now you can see what that would look like when rendered and as you can see Revit does a really good job of connecting these materials here uh, this is where it kind of connect those two images so it looks really good and uh, vertically looking at it, you can't even see the uh, where's the kind of the cut point 
Now brick walls aren't always going to be a uniform like this one over here. Sometimes you're going to have a some some adjustments or some uh, decoration on your brick walls maybe having some bricks that are going in the other direction or something like that and that can always look interesting especially if it goes with the whole design of the building so what i'm going to be showing you now is how can you uh, recreate that in revit and you can do that by going here to wall and then using a wall sweep so you just click there and then uh, the only option is this uh, cornice and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And then if we place it, as you can see, it looks like this and it's terrible. Uh, now that's just because it's using this default profile with the default material and that never looks right. So I'm going to go here into edit type for this sweep. Go ahead and duplicate that and let's call it uh, brick sweep. Hit OK and now let's create a new sweep. So first for the material we want to apply the same brick type. So let's just use that new brick pattern and then for the uh, for the profile here it's set to default but we can use one of these uh, other ones. So maybe we can use the one brick uh, soldier course. Click OK. Now it's going to look like this. So uh, soldier course means it's a vertical brick so it doesn't look right with this material so maybe a good solution would be to go into edit type and then uh, to change this so let's uh, uh, search for other brick type so here we have the soldier course apply that click OK and as you can see it looks a bit better with those vertical bricks alternatively you can use the same image and just flip it around and try to recreate this uh, soldier course if you want but for now we can just leave it as is uh, and there you go. You can also uh, set the offset level. Uh, so I can set this to maybe 1000 just to make it exactly one meter from the ground. And also here you can make it uh, a bit embedded into the wall if you just type in, I don't know, like five. Let's see. If I type in, or let's try minus 50. I think this is in millimeters. There we go. So you have to go with a minus a value or a negative value to go inside of the wall. So you can maybe go minus 60. And as you can see, it would look like that. So you can change or play around with the brick patterns in order to recreate exactly what you want to have. Now let's take a look at that ugly hatch pattern that we have for the section uh, uh, section presentation for this type of a wall. So I'm just going to go here to the uh, just to, uh, to the project browser, go, go to level one. Uh, this is where I placed that wall. Uh, maybe I should have picked out a better uh, orientation, but that doesn't matter. Now I'm going to go here into a section and then let's just create a small section like this. Now make sure that you snap to that wall. So when you get that little dash line through the middle of the wall that means that you're perpendicular to that so the section will cut the wall exactly in half now i'm just going to hit the escape key a couple of times and then just double click on the section head to open up that section and this is the wall now if i just change the uh, uh change the detail level to fine as you can see this is that uh ugly hatch pattern that they really don't like uh now uh, we can uh, set the scale to maybe 1 to 25 just to be able to see it a bit better but again it's uh, it's quite ugly now what i'm going to do is select the wall again go into edit type and then here in the type properties i'm just going to go into structure and then uh, go to the material open the material browser up and then here for the cut pattern let's just set that to none click ok apply ok ok again ok again and there we go uh, now let's see how can we create a hatch pattern that actually uh, follows uh, what this brick looks like so what we can do is go here to the annotate tab and then here we have the component tool, the detail component. Now, if you uh, open up the drop menu here that's on the side, you have the option for a repeating detail component. So this allows you to create uh, some bricks or blocks or pretty much whatever you want. So I'm just going to click here and then I can go here to the repeating uh, detail and here we have the brick. Now you just click here on one side and then you kind of 
pull it out and as you can see it's on the wrong side of the wall so if I just hit the space key it's going to bring it uh, to the inside of the wall. Uh, now something that you will notice of course immediately is the fact that these bricks are way too small so uh, you can change the actual detail element by going here into edit type for that uh, detail brick and then go to pattern go to detail and here we have the running section but if we uh, flip that around to the uh, raw lock uh, uh, and hit apply and OK. Now we're going to have a section that's a bit wider. Now of course it doesn't fit this wall just because I created the wall uh, using the dimensions in my area and this is I think this is some British brick or something like that. So what I'm going to do is just select the wall and make it a bit smaller but first we need to know the width of these bricks. So for that let's use the measure tool measure the brick so it's 215 then I'm going to select the wall, go into edit type, and then change the thickness to uh, 215. Click OK, apply, OK again, and there we go. Now what I'm going to do is just uh, use the align tool. So go here to the modify panel, go to the align tool, select this edge like this, and then you can lock it in place even. And there we go. Now you have a, a good looking detail. And then you can just extend this uh, little line and then that would extend your uh, detail. Uh, oops, let's cancel out of that. Uh, then you can extend your repeating detail component just up this. Now here, as you can see, it, it does look a bit messy when you go over sweeps. So uh, just be on the lookout for that. But uh, it does create a better looking wall section. Now you can, of course, uh, go and maybe find the new detail components. Just if you go here to the insert uh, tab, go to load family. And here uh, under uh, detail items, let's go to masonry. And then here it should be under masonry units. As you can see here, we have some bricks uh, that you can load in and then play around with. So you can maybe use this brick or just load whatever works for you. And then you can uh, use that uh, for these uh, sections or even floor plans if, if that's what you want. So that's how we can create a more realistic bricks here. Okay, so that's going to conclude this tutorial on brick work in Revit. I hope you have found this interesting and I hope you found it useful. And uh, now if you have any other, other questions or comments or suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And also if you want to get access to all of my project files as well as uh, all of my advanced Balkan Architect courses, I've got over 45 hours of content up on my Patreon. First link in the description. There I post all of my advanced content as well as uh, all of my Revit project files. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.